The man's trouser belt was locked and fastened. His right hand was also handcuffed to the back. Not only that, he can only use one hand for all his daily activities, such as washing with the other hand, and sleep and eat with his pants down. All because he's a bachelor. There is a law in this world. Anyone who is single has to be sent to a hotel and have to find someone with common characteristics to match within 45 days. If the pairing fails, you become any kind of animal. The good thing is that you are free to choose your species. This man's name is David. Two years ago, his own brother was turned into a border collie after a failed pairing. Now he was abandoned by his wife and came to this hotel. The manager asked him what animal he wanted to become. David did not hesitate to choose the lobster because lobsters have a lifespan of 100 years. Lobsters are also very good at reproduction. The most important thing is that he likes the sea. The manager congratulated him because most people would think of turning into a dog. Soon David's usual hand was handcuffed. This approach is designed to brainwash you to make you feel the hardships of not having a partner. If someone is caught using their hand secretly to solve a problem, they will be punished severely. In order not to become an animal, David took the time to start looking for a woman to marry. It was the day of the singles ball. He takes the opportunity to ask a woman to dance with him. But he didn't realize that he and Jessica didn't have a single thing in common. Because of the prerequisites for a match, to be considered a successful match, they must share common characteristics. For example, she's nearsighted like David, or he and Jessica have the same nosebleeds. The good news is that those who don't have a successful match have another opportunity. They can go on a hunting trip. The hotel is full of unsuccessful matches who don't want to become animals and run off into the woods. They're called loners. If you catch one of these loners, you can increase your pairing time by one day and so on. But David couldn't bear to do anything to his fellow creatures. He always came back empty handed, depressed. He complained to his friends he knew. Suddenly, Jacqueline said he'd be off the hook tomorrow. The next day Jacqueline came to the pool and Jessica struck up a conversation. They didn't talk long. Jacqueline suddenly had a nosebleed. Now there was a common trait between the two of them. The hotel manager gave Jacqueline and Jessica a recognition meeting and announced that they had successfully entered the couple test period. Not only that, if the two had a conflict, the hotel also arranged for them to have a child in order to promote their relationship. Once they pass the test period, they can go back to the city in peace and live happily ever after. But Jacqueline doesn't really like nosebleeds. His blood is all self-inflicted. He did all this just to not become an animal. This man will be turned into an animal if he doesn't find a girlfriend to marry. He could become a pig. He could also become a single dog. Desperate. He found a woman who had only one day left to match. But this woman would rather become an animal than accept David. Because the woman dislikes David's hair is messy. David is likely to become bald. Finally, the woman was able to become a horse with a beautiful mane. The time for the matching to end is getting closer and closer. David finally took a page out of Jacqueline's book. He decides to approach the short ear woman in the hotel by acting like an emotionless person because she was characterized by indifference. In order to look the part, David acted indifferent to the woman who jumped off the building. He wanted her to be in pain before she died. However, this act did attract Rachel's attention. That day at the spa, Rachel suddenly got a foreign object stuck in her throat. But David was calm. He did nothing even though he saw Rachel was about to die. He even turned his head to the other side. But the next moment Rachel Saturday up as if nothing had happened. She thought they were perfect for each other. So Rachel was just testing David. Such an aloof man is what she likes. The manager soon announced that they were a successful match. The two of them also successfully entered the examination period. But how does such a couple live? As they were walking down the road, an enthusiastic little girl rushed up to greet them. But David coolly refused her. At the same time, he also kicked the little girl. He really played the heartlessness very vividly. But Rachel still felt uneasy. She wanted to test whether David really did not have feelings. She told him when he woke up. She had brutally killed his brother, who had been turned into a dog. She also imitated his brother's death wail in front of David. David was outwardly calm, but when he went to the bathroom to wash up, he couldn't stop sobbing. That's when Rachel finally realized that David's indifference was an act. Furious, she slapped David in the face. She also grabbed him and went to report him to the hotel manager. Because people who like to make a match are immediately turned into animals. David fights to escape. He uses a tranquilizer gun 
to knock Rachel out with the help of a waitress. To avenge his brother's death, David sent Rachel to the transformation chamber and turns her into a cold-blooded animal. After all this, David knew he had made a big mistake and immediately went into the forest. There David came across the loners. This woman is the leader of the organization, but what David didn't expect was the rules of the organization are the opposite of those of the hotel. All flirtations and relationships are forbidden. This man was forced to kiss after his lips were cut off because he was flirting with a woman. But the funny thing is, David found his true love in this place where love is forbidden. The man had to poke his eyes out with a knife because only then can he be with his crush. Not long before, David escaped from the hotel and hid in the woods to join the loners. One day, the men from the hotel came out hunting. David happened to be caught. Luckily, a woman named Anna in the organization helped David. Later David and Anna followed the leader of the organization to the city on a mission. They had to pretend to be lovers again. In their close contact and day by day, they got along with each other. Not only did they discover the commonality of their myopia, also slowly fell in love with each other. They kissed in the forest. Then they used the mission to fall in love openly. But the two played much, so that the chief noticed that something was wrong. She separated the two who were acting and kissing. That day, the loners infiltrated the hotel. The leader and his team kidnapped the manageress of the hotel and gave her husband a choice. Only one of them could survive between him and his wife. The man says she can't live on her own and his wife can't. Just as the man pulls the trigger, the gun has no bullets in it. The chief smiled. Her true purpose is not to kill, but to prove that there is no true love in this world. On the other hand, David also came to Jacqueline's room. He took it upon himself to reveal the truth to Jessica. He said that Jacqueline would hit the wall or the wood to make his nose bleed when Jessica wasn't looking. But Jessica gave him a big slap in the face and told him to get lost. It seems that Jessica is really in love with Jacqueline. That's why she doesn't care about the truth. In that case, David told Anna that they didn't need to keep sneaking around. So they decided to run away from Division and head to a city where couples are welcome. But Anna had a habit of writing notes and their love affair was completely known to the chief. The chief did not destroy them in advance. That day, while out on a mission, she took Anna to the hospital to do myopia surgery. Anna did not want to because she didn't want to lose the same features as David, but she had no valid reason to refuse. And so Anna was wheeled into the operating room. But unfortunately, it wasn't myopic surgery. Anna woke up from the operating table completely blind. When David found out, he didn't dislike her blindness. Instead, his search for the common ground between them, but they no longer have anything in common with each other. Unwillingly, they decided to escape from the forest to the city together. In the darkness of the night, David knocked the leader unconscious. Then he rushed to the city with Anna. They arrived at a restaurant. Suddenly David asked the waiter for a pair of knives and forks. Then he went straight into the bathroom in order to find a common feature by being blind like Anna. David pointed the knife at his own eyes. On the other hand, a waiter came to pour water. Anna looked at him and said thank you. Then she turned her head to look out the window. The end of the movie seems to be an open ending. But in fact it is not. It turns out that the chief didn't really make Anna completely blind. That's why she can look at the waiter clearly. Because as early as before, when dealing with the hotel manager, the chief only used the human test method. She did not choose to kill either of the lovers. Instead, she used this method to break up the couple, so it would not really hurt Anna. The reason why Anna deceived David was because she wanted to see if he was sincere with her, and to see if David was willing to give his life to her. In the end, David did poke his eyes out, and went back to the hotel to receive the blessing. That's why this shot is blacked out. You can only hear the applause. As for the sound of the waves at the end, it is obvious that Anna was found out later for pretending to be blind. The common features of the two people are also gone. According to the rules, they have to be turned into animals. So David eventually became a lobster to have the endless sound of the sea.